What's going on, guys? I'm back with another product review. This time, it is of the Revo Point Range 3D Scanner. The, the fine people over at Revo Point were kind enough to send this over to me to review. Thank you for that. Let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. Got your tripod, phone holder, battery pack, and you got your 3D scanner. Yeah, you can pop your phone in there, battery pack, the cord will go from here to here to power this, and then your phone just powers itself. And the other plug is to plug into your phone. So you have that option. And then you also have a tripod. You can set it up anywhere. It also extends so you can get that going too. So this thing is made to be for, for bigger objects. You can scan statues and stuff. I've seen a lot of different things. You know, I, I had to do research on it. I couldn't just I couldn't just get it and not know what I was doing. So I saw some a couple of videos and people were scanning objects. They said it's not really good in direct sunlight. It's better for like low light nighttime, I guess. My applications though, were for action figures. I wanted to scan this wrecker body. After some trial and error and speaking to Revo Point, I was able to get better scans. So my first major flaw was having a cluttered background. I have enough space between the object, the background and the scanner, which is why my scan looks like this. Once I gave it enough space between everything, I got better scans. Thought it was a lighting thing, but this scanner really picks up on the lighting like around it. Revo Point also instructed me to use the newer scanning app, which is what I did. So with all of those things involved, I was able to get a better scan. You see, I moved away from the record body. Doing this air chariot from the G.I. Joe figure. With the newer program, I'm scanning in color. It really picked up a lot of detail. Now, anything that it missed was because the scanner doesn't pick up uh, black or dark details. I did do a few scans and I did the cornstarch method where you sprinkle the cornstarch on it to pick up the darker details that works out fairly okay the only problem with that is the scanner picks up the cornstarch too so it looks it, the scan looks kind of wonky when you do it that way but in a regular scan it came out perfectly fine you can see here the newer program is showing everything in color which is pretty awesome and then everything that's green is scanning and everything that's see-through is the black parts that it wouldn't pick up now i know you could do merge scans but i wanted to turn the object and scan the bottom to get a more complete scan of the object. It's something I saw another reviewer do and I wanted to try it out. And it really works. It actually it actually completes the scan. It's kind of crazy. You do lose tracking in the beginning, but once the scanner finds the object, it scans it and it puts it together. This program is really nice. It's not something I was expecting, but I'm really glad it did that. I thought I was gonna have to do multiple scans, but being able to flip the object and move the scanner and everything and get a complete scan is really a nice touch. You want to let the object spin a couple times. I let mine spin two to three times just to get everything that I can possibly get scanned. I want to capture as much detail as possible with the scan. That way you don't have to go back and fill stuff in. Now at this point in the scanning, I flip the object back on the right side and I'm going to pick the scanner up and scan the top of the object. Because again, you want to get a complete scan and this one wasn't picking up the top. So I picked the scanner up. The scanner is going to scan the top of the object and you'll see everything will turn green. Green is good. You want the scan to be green. That way you know it's it's capturing everything. The top of the snake head is the part I was missing. So it captured all of that. It's even capturing the stuff around the turbine and everything. Here's what the scan looked like as a point cloud. You can see it captured everything that I needed it to capture. Now I'm going to go in the program. It's going to edit and it's going to let me fill in all the textures and the point cloud and mesh construction. Pretty much what this is going to do is put everything together and make it one complete mesh. Scan of the bottom, the scan of the top, and the initial scan is going to throw everything together, and I'm going to get a complete and put together mesh that I can put in Mesh Mixer and mess with. Once that's all put together, you can just export it. It'll export it as whatever you want to save it as. I normally do OBJ just because that's easier for me to find in my computer. Load time depends on the computer. Mine took a while because I have a basic computer. Sure, if you have a faster computer, this will go way faster. Now we're going to open up the Mesh and Mesh Mixer. Now here's the file all opened up and the in mesh mixer, it's gonna show me everything. Don't worry about the holes, that's just the stuff the scanner couldn't pick up because it was dark. Remember what I said, you can use, they have spray or you can use cornstarch just to get in those dark areas and you won't have to worry about the holes. I'm just gonna fill all the holes in mesh mixer so I can show you the basic scan and how it captured everything. Cause I truly believe it came out really good. Especially after taking those pointers from, you know, Revo Point, what they told me. I said before, I thought this was like a plug and play thing. It's really not. It's actually something you're going to have to sit down and learn how to use. But once you learn how to use it, and I'm not even there yet. I'm pretty sure I can get better scans than this. Here is the Air Chariot all scanned up. 
Like I could shrink this down. I could use it like if I wanted to have a character holding the thing in the air. I could do all kind of stuff. So this is pretty awesome. Be able to take something real world and be able to 3D scan it and have it to print or have it in a model or anything is just really awesome. Experience using the scanner was frustrating at first. Once I was able to understand what I had to do, I had a much better time scanning. All the learning process and you will need other programs if you really want to accelerate the scanning. Better scans overall. If you're interested in this product, I will have a link in the description. Take you right over there. Hop on over and check it out. It's a really fun product. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.